Bro, like, you know, like, that shit where, like, I posted a video the other day. The shit where, like, you have to take all your clothes off. Like, you're fighting demons on the toilet. Yeah. Bro, oh, it's, my God. Bro, imagine uh, a kid, though, bro. Oh, my God. Bro, and that's, it's the, you know, they say that, right? It's the same push. So, like, they tell you push yeah, like I'm, you're trying to. I'm pretty sure they shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, sometimes they shit, but that's what it, you, like, you shouldn't really. Yo, technically, like, some of us came out on a poo-poo slide. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Everything in this video is a joke and should not be taken serious. Nah, they, they suck though. I'm not gonna lie. Providence, like, emergency response. Look, my grandfather had like a, like a heart pacemaker malfunction while I was giving him a haircut like a year ago. Yeah. Bro, like he was literally like this. No. Passed out and bro, it's not, it's funny now because he was, he's alive, but bro, I was like, Papa, Papa, and he was literally just like this. And I was like, what the fuck? Bro, they came here and they was like, yeah, we think he's fine. <laughs> was like, right. they, they wasn't trying to bring him to the hospital until oh. my mom was like, no, I think he should go get checked because he just had a pacemaker put in. Yeah. And it was like, oh, okay, well, I hope you know he's going to be there probably for like a day or two. And mom's like, that's fine. Like, Yeah, get him checked out. Like, what the? Yeah. Isn't that like what they're supposed to say? Like, yeah, we want to get this guy checked out. Yeah. Make sure he's good. They're like, no, no, he's good. Welcome back to Squawcast. Episode 9. Episode 9. Yep, only 9 episodes in. We actually went backwards here. You want you want to introduce yourself? Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I was like, bro. Um, what's up, guys? It's Kobe. Yeah, I like to make it awkward sometimes. I just like throw nice. it right off the bat, make, make it awkward. Yeah, yeah. Th this is Kobe. This is... You want to introduce yourself? Shit. <laughs> You know me, I'm I'm Alex. You know what I'm saying. I be whooping Kyle's ass. Hey, man. Why, why is it always that's me? That's a fact. I'm like saying it. All right, all right. Well, we sorry. We're a little thrown off from all the the random commotion that was just happening. You you'll see that. But this is Kobe. You know, what do you do? So you cut hair. <laughs> I knew this, music. yo. <laughs> yo, I swear to God, bro. On everything I love, I knew this was gonna get brought up. Especially when we go downstairs, yo. I knew someone was gonna be like, bro, you've done everything in this basement, like from cutting hair to, feel what I'm saying, make music. Like that shit's crazy. But yeah, no, I was because I have I have a list of questions for like people I've wanted on, and I wanted you on for a minute, so I already yeah, yep. had your list. Yeah, yep. And I was looking, I was like, man, this man does a fucking, <laughs> he does all types of shit. Yeah, <laughs> Swiss Army knife. But not a good one. Like, I just do everything all right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, sometimes, I'm not... I, I found myself spreading myself too thin sometimes. So I can kind of see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, I want to do a little bit of that. I want to do that. And I think that's just more like trying stuff out. And also, the age. Just, yeah, when you enjoy, like, you enjoy stuff. So it's like, yeah, why not do that? that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I do a bunch of shit too. Just dabble in a little of everything. Yeah, but like you said, when it comes to it, when it gets, it gets to a certain point where it's like, uh, I'm not the best at cutting hair. I'm not the best artist. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like that's why. To, to me, I like your music more than I like most people locally. Mm. I'll say that. Like, I don't really, I don't like, I don't enjoy hearing someone that's not really skilled at music. Mm -hmm. But I actually fuck with what you do because, like, you're actually trying. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the thing. Like, it, it's good. Mm -hmm. But you can tell you're actually trying. And you're like taking your time. Like it seems like the music are actually like nowadays is just ass, and people saying the same exact shit Lines, as everyone else. Reused so bars. Yeah, yes, yeah. And, and even if it's not reused, they're just saying the same shit in different words. Like I feel like they're looking at a book of synonyms for you, the words. You know <laughs> like, what it is, bro. You know, and I'm thank God I never really went down that path. Drill music, bro. Oh yeah, I hate it. Yeah. Bro, I could talk about this forever. I hate. Bro, drill music. it's just like. Everyone wants to be a drill artist, like, cause it's easy as fuck. Yeah. If I had to make a if song, you're lying. if someone put a gun to my head and said, "Make a song," I'm making a fucking drill song. I can't make any other song. Not yeah. Not a chance. <laughs> it's easier to rap on drill beats for sure, cause the beats do all the work, especially the samples and shit. Uh, you listen yeah. to the sample, you're like, "Yo, wait, maybe this song isn't that bad." But it's like I wish a better artist had that beat type shit. Whenever I hear that. Yeah, it makes me like, damn, like, why didn't someone good? More, <laughs> yeah, more like it, why is that beat now taken up that's the issue i'm seeing all these amazing beats just get taken up by some trash ass people 
<laughs> we started really hot. <laughs> nah, yeah. <laughs> Just straight shots. Kyle feels very strongly about this topic. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nah, because it, it's been pissing me off for... Because, like, that's what, like, reduced so much music for me. Like, in this past, like, couple of years, it's, like, that's why... It's been so hot, like, mm-hmm. especially. And, like, now I feel like there's not people going out there and actually trying and doing something that, like, makes sense. Yeah. Because then it's like, oh, why do I have to do that? I can do this right here. Yeah, you could just do that. It's easier. It's the wave right now. And that's why I always had the appreciation for your shit. Because I'm like, oh, okay. Someone's actually going out there and putting putting some actual words on a fucking song. Yeah. And like, you know what I mean? Having a little bit of meaning to it. Like, mm-hmm. It makes sense. So I was like, yeah. Because, like, right now, we're not going to get views. We're not going to get shit for doing stuff differently. Because it's not the wave. But as soon as the wave becomes what you've been doing, you're on the money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, some people can sit there and follow the waves over and over again. No, yeah, that's facts. But it's like, it's not, it's not, that's not sustainable to me. I feel like you got to do what you like, actual art. Everybody says it. Like, if you ask any, like, person that does, like, some sort of art form, they're like, yo, I don't give a fuck. Well, nobody thinks. I just like doing shit I like. Like, shit you like to do. That's a fact. No, yeah, for sure. That's, like, um, like, the more, I would say what I do more with music is I'm more, like, melodic, of course. Like, I'm not sitting here doing bar for bar. I'm not doing 16-bar breakdowns. Like, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not lyrically gifted like that, and, but, and I'm not the best, like, singer. You know what I'm saying? But do you think about, like, when someone's listening to it? You are you like more thinking about how the person is gonna listen to it and how they're gonna feel when they listen to it? Nah, no bullshit, bro. You know what's crazy? Like the what I found would like unlock something musically for me, and it's kind of weird to talk about this now because like I've kind of like drifted away from music, but I still make music like all on my phone and shit. But um, what like unlocked something with music for me was just literally using it kind of like. As kind of like how you guys use your podcast, you know what I'm saying? Like, a platform to just get out, like, my feelings and shit like that. Especially when I was smoking. Like, I don't smoke no more and all that. But, like... That's good. That It would, it would literally, bro, I'd be in my bathroom, headphones in, making music like that. You know what I'm saying? And then I, after, if I had, like, a good enough rough draft, I'd go to the studio and use, like... I'd show it to my boys. Like, Toxic Love, that one was all on my phone. My boys heard it, and it was like, bro, this shit, like, this shit's hard. So I spent like the eighty bucks, went to the studio, and made it a real song. Damn, them shit that should be expensive. Oh hell yeah! Eighty bucks. How many, how many hours? An uh, hour. Uh, oh yeah. god yeah. damn! An hour. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ, bro! When I started going to my to my producer too, bro, he was charging thirty or forty. It's just everything like niggas seen bread and gas go up, and they want to start <laughs> inflating like studio time. Like, bro, what? It don't make yeah, no sense. No, it's, that's fucking crazy. I mean, most people, I feel like what they do is they start booking people, and then once you get, like, more of a customer base, they just rack that shit up right away. Mm. And then it's like, oh, damn. Yep. Now, how about cutting hair? Do you Are you still doing that? Because that, that reminds me of some barbers during COVID, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, I was, getting, I was getting fucking $25 cuts. All of a sudden, them shits was 45 40 I was like huh <laughs> I, I, I had to go back to my boy Jacob after that bro no bullshit um the, the, the prices on haircuts is crazy like how much did you get your cut today I said 30 but I gave him 40 yeah see but like you chose to like you could have gave him 5 yeah yeah see I feel like 35 is the max what I'm paying with the tip I'm gonna be real I'm a 40 guy it just cause after COVID but also my barber's a friend. Like, if if I was... No, yeah. If I was facts. to you, I'd probably give you 40, too. Facts. But I think 40... But, yeah, I was a 35 guy. I go to max, my boy Juju. Yeah, that that's who I went to. Elite. No bullshit. But if it, I, if I wasn't going to Juju, I'd go to... Am I not supposed to be saying? Yeah. I mean, that's their business. They ah, Shout out Juju. Right here. Yep. I, but, I'll yeah, probably not pop that up. I go to my boy's cousin... <laughs> For um, what you call it? I go to my boy's cousin for a cut, and his price is crazy. Like, oh yeah, so w- now I should probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <now. laughs> bro, 
<laughs> no, I think you know who I'm talking about. That's He's in the wet. Oh. <laughs> bro, right up. Oh my god. Yo, I'll talk about hilarious. it off camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, but that's so funny. Anyways, that yeah. Is hilarious. Just... I mean, he specifically is gonna know exactly that you're talking about. <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna bleep that out. For I just it. remember, bro, being a kid, bro, and walking out of the the barber shop with a ten dollar cut, bro, with like a design oh yeah, in my fifteen head. bucks. Give him fifty. It used to be fifteen bucks when I was a little kid. And even, bro, even st- to start high school. I was getting cuts for like 15, 20. Yeah. 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 That's insane. Yeah, no, like I mean, head. COVID literally, no, I, I, it's not even the age, bro. It was literally just COVID fucked that shit up. Maybe a little bit of the age. Eh, I don't know, because like in high school, like you said, like, you know what I mean? Still getting $20 cuts. I don't even know. Like, honestly, I went to Jacob and I never even knew his prices after the first one. He said 20 for the first one. I was like, I'm not giving you 20, bro. That was after I was just getting fucking railed by the other barbers for 35. So I was like, bro, you did a good job. You deserve it. And then fucking, I never looked at the price after that. Nah, I've always had a question, bro. And I'm not like trying to be funny or nothing. Like I'm being so serious. Did, when did you start getting fades? <laughs> Cause like usually like my no. white boys, like they be, you know, like. You know what I'm talking yeah, about, bro. Yeah, yeah. I've like, I've always gotten like a t- a fade type of thing, but like I just wouldn't cut my hair. I still mm. don't like haircuts. It's a lot more enjoyable that I have a consistent barber. Dude. I never like the time of haircuts, like waiting, and I don't like just wasting my time. Yeah. So like, I would be having inconsistent barbers, or my one barber it would be like an hour and a half wait. There was no like appointments or nothing. You'd get the best cut of your life, but it was an hour and a half. So it's like a three, four hour deal to get a fucking haircut. So, like, that's, like, nah, I'm not doing that. So, like, I would just literally just grow that shit out. It would just keep growing, and I would just push it over. Everyone <laughs> did that. Yeah, As kids, yeah. Bro, yeah, yeah. my like, mom used to always tell me, like, go to I the just, cut, and then once you sat down, you was getting a one. <sighs> yeah. Bold. Yeah, and that's what I just fucking cut it all off at that point. <laughs> yeah, so I was just, whoosh. my rem- dad was cutting my hair for so long. I remember the one time in middle school this kid came Oh, yeah, you nice. Came in with the craziest bean. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You you have a couple of bad experiences. It's like, yo, fuck this shit. I don't ever want to get taught you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, yo, fuck it. I don't even care about a haircut now. So, yeah, nah. I'd... But then, you know, I I was like, all right, I'll get a haircut, like, more often. Once I got a car, I was like, okay, I'll, I'll keep myself maintained. Yeah. Because my dad was just a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? That made a whole haircut like such an ordeal how about you when did you start growing out your hair yeah. i really don't remember you was, without the hair like wait it was like two and a half years ago really like, yeah type shit yep because wow. i had it mad short and then i think i started growing it around winter time nah that makes me feel like weird because I, I don't remember you with the fucking with the eddie yeah i do nah yeah i had a lethal eddie, <laughs> a lethal eddie. Oh my God. Nah. every time i grew it out bro that shit was crazy he was bro. like like the you know what i'm saying like the nah nah I, the I, poster like puerto rican boy oh uh, yeah yeah i have like one picture in mind where you're holding a handicap sign. Oh, <laughs> I know yeah. you know that picture. <laughs> <laughs> we took a fucking handicap sign that was all, like on the ground. I actually still have it. You kept it? The Hell sign? Yeah. It was hung up on my room for a minute. That's tough. Over my bed? That's, bad. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. That's <laughs> handicap <laughs> parking, bro. This <laughs> kid likes his girls disabled. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to change the subject here. <laughs> so anyway, to the, to add to the list of the fuckery that you do with already. Mm-hmm. Now we can go two lanes here. The podcast or the baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, We could go to the baby because it's like... Literally right there. Like, I'm yeah. going tomorrow for her to get induced. So, for more information on that, um, my girl's 41 weeks pregnant today, which you're only supposed to go 40 weeks. Oh. 
So it's a little late. Oh, yeah. So they're going to induce her tomorrow, which is basically like they put her on like mad meds and try to like make the baby like stressed, but not like stressed enough to where like obviously it's dangerous. Mm -hmm. So the baby's like, ah, let me get the fuck out of here. Low irritation. Exactly. Like it's like, (sighs) yep. Go. (laughs) Yeah. And then if they might have to go pop her water, however that. But yeah, we go tomorrow. So yeah. Within like the next 72 hours, I'm going to be a dad. Most likely. That's fucking insane. That's actually crazy. Yeah, for sure. Nah, because I was seeing the August thing, and I saw what you posted, and I was like, wait, what? Didn't August just pass? (laughs) (laughs) I see what you're saying. Bro, her due date was the 26th. Wow, that is crazy. So so what you feeling, bro? What's going through your head right now? Um, money. Oh, bullshit. Like, that's really what it is. It's just, like, money, but it's kind of like a weird balance. That's why I... I mess with the job that I got now because I only work four days a week. So I feel like I am I have like a good home and work balance. Mm-hmm. But I yeah. also get paid pretty good to obviously enjoy the time that I do have off when I have it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But yeah, just money because, bro, formula, like all this stuff. Like I'm not trying to make this like a dad podcast, but like, oh, bro, bro, for like a can of formula, it's like 40 bucks. <sighs> and they go through that a week. Yo, they still got that shit. wick shit going on? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hop on that, bro. Yeah, she definitely Yeah, need that. She <laughs> Bro, so we was we was we was kind of like a little down bad a few months ago and she had wick, right? But my girl hates like doctors and stuff like that. So, we had wick for about a month, bro, and it literally probably like she used it just to like satisfy her cravings for the month. Like literally like, "Oh, I yeah. want a watermelon." Where I stop and shop scanning shit. Because that's how you have to do it with WIC. You have to scan it to see that's, if it's WIC approved. That's part of it, though, bro. Yeah. I'm sure you probably had to spend a good amount just <laughs> those, on those cravings. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Damn. So, how did you, like, where were you when you found out? Is that too deep? I have a video, bro. You have a video? She like you video recorded me, bro. And the worst part was I just had gone through, like, some weird, like, Hopefully you don't ever have this, bro, because you have. It took you a while to grow your hair. My hair was mad long, like nine yeah. months ago, mm-hmm. and I randomly just was. I was stressed. I don't know what type of. Your hair wh- started going. Bro, I shaved my hair bald. Do you, I? I have pictures and everything of me with like a point five, oh, not even a uh, one point five. Bro, on God, I look like Vin Diesel, but not Diesel, like at all. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Like, but yeah, so. I don't know where I was, but I came home because she was late. She was, like, a few weeks late. And I came, uh, let me backtrack my fault. We went Christmas shopping. I told her, let's get a pregnancy test because you're two, three weeks late on your period. She was like, no, it's just, it's a regular or some shit. I'm a dude. I don't know what the fuck a regular means. So I was like, no. So we got the <laughs> test. We got the test. It was, like, a dollar store test. So I left. I don't know where I was at. I'm not even going to lie. Oh, I was giving someone a haircut, actually. That's crazy. I was giving my cousin a haircut. And I come home, and I didn't obviously I didn't see the camera and shit, but she gave me, like, a present. She was like, here, Christmas present early. It was, like, the night before Christmas. Bro, I opened that, and I was just, like... Like, if you see the footage, you're probably like, oh, he looks souped. <laughs> Yo! I love my kid. I love my girl. But, bro, I was so shook. Like, I was like, like I thought she was trolling. Oh, like, yeah. Like, I thought it was a fake pregnancy test because I didn't know what the dollar store pregnancy test looked like. And to let you know, they look like shit. They don't look real. Like, it's like a pink block. Like, I'm like, this is them Spencer's test. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, no, I mean, I think it still might not be real because she's not here. Do you feel what I'm saying? Like, I'd be thinking nah, that. Nah, like, that would be insane. <laughs> no, nah, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. <laughs> I felt that. She got, she got an MMA leg on her, bro. She'd be kicking the shit out of her bladder. No bullshit. Damn. Oh, I just thought about that. How- bro, do you, yo, yeah. you don't even realize, bro. And I still don't even realize because obviously I haven't seen her be delivered yet. But, bro, you know the average baby's like 21 inches? Yeah. Bro, 21 yeah. inches is crazy. Seven pounds, six pounds. Like, yeah. And then, I was I was nine. It's like pushing the fucking dumbbell out. <laughs> it, bro, exactly. You just yeah. said you was nine pounds. I swear to God. 
<laughs> Fucking badass. I think I was. <laughs> <laughs> I think bro. I was a C-section though. Like, I got a big ass head, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a big ass head since. It like, kind of makes sense. As a kid, let me see your head. It's like you was not a C-section. Nah. nah. You know how you know how you could tell sometimes they say because your head shape, like you have a nice head shape. Because sure. sometimes coming out of the, you oh, know what I'm saying? Oh, like squeeze it, down. Yeah. Yeah, Alex, Alex you got squeeze a little. Like, yeah, right, right there. <laughs> but you got the perfect, like, <laughs> ew. <laughs> makes sense. Your mom probably was heated, but. Yeah. Nah, I mean, my brother, my little brother came out like 9.6 or some shit, like 9.6. Oh, so you yeah. guys just be some My, my, my older ass. brother wasn't that bad. But yeah, no, nah, we came out heavy as fuck for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, out, your little out there not, gaining weights, <laughs> bro. I'm not even trying to be weird, but like your little brother came out of your mom or like the belly, like C-section or not? Oh, I don't even know. I think C-section. Oh, okay. I think that one too. <laughs> <laughs> nah, thank God. For her, that's... <laughs> nah, that that's oh, I I can't imagine any woman doing it. Never mind nine pounds. And bro, there's weight too, like the uh, fluid weights, like oh, yeah. just off water weight. My girl's going to lose 20 to 30 pounds off of water weight. Yeah. Like, that's insane. (sighs) That's fucked up, bro. Because I'd be, like, crying like a motherfucker when I got to bring up the water up the stairs. So imagine just adding that to your body. Bro, I wasn't even thinking about that. It's like having a weighted vest on all the time. I'm thinking about the the pushing. Bro, like, you know, like, that shit where, like, I posted a video the other day. The shit where, like, you have to take all your clothes off. Like, you're fighting demons on the toilet. Yeah. Bro, oh, it's, my God. Bro, imagine uh, a kid, though, bro. Oh, my God. Bro, and that's... it's the You know, they say that, right? It's the same push. So, like, they tell you push yeah, like I'm, you're trying to... I'm pretty sure they shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, sometimes they shit. But that's what it... You, like, you shouldn't really... Yo, technically, like, some of us came out on a poo-poo slide. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Nah, that is crazy. <laughs> Literally, though. No bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Doc's like, oh, let's wipe that one off a little. Bro, they don't be telling them. Like, so, like, they oh, just yeah. wipe them real quick. Yeah. And then they just place. Because they put them in a towel. Imagine quick, they yeah. miss a piece of the shit and they just throw the kid on the mom and she's oh. got shit on her face. <laughs> like, that's crazy. <laughs> she goes to, like, but it's like, oh, shit. Oh, I wonder how a baby smells. Oh, okay, now we're going for it. Yeah, they got gunk and shit on them. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, she showed like me videos to prepare aliens. me. Wow, you're gonna win. That is insane to think about. That really is. Like, te- nice. technically, you might have to leave this podcast halfway through. Oh, yeah, at any moment. Yeah, yeah. Like, or water could break. Technically, you're on the go. Yeah, yep. Been like that. Insane. I've been playing ball, like at the place where we go and hoop. She had to come one time because she was having, like, feelings and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But. Yeah, no, you gotta be on the go. Oh, yeah. Nah, that's, that's really... Crazy fact. When we went and hooped that day, not a fact, but I'll tell you after, but I'm just going to say someone robbed someone for a fucking blunt. A blunt. They, while while uh, we was hooping. Huh? A blunt. It was a pre-rolled blunt. There was phones, a jar of mad bud, and they took a blunt. <laughs> Bro, like a, P, like a P6 blunt. Come on. Ridiculous. That's crazy. Yeah, I need to hear that story. <laughs> You're gonna want to hear who too. Yeah, let's let's move on to the to the next uh, topic at hand. The main reason you're here at this moment, <sighs> yeah, I would so. say, yep. the podcast, the sports podcast that I've been begging for. I've been I've been praying for this. Whether That's it was you, Eli, one of those four people had to have some sort of podcast show on sports. Yeah, y'all are facts. obsessed. So how, what what made you have that final decision? Um, I bro, really, bro. Like, I wanted to save this exact thing for like either when I film the first video or the first podcast video or this one. But yeah, bro, you guys are really just inspirations. Like, not even trying to sound like corny or nothing, but for real, like I be tuned into you guys' shit. Nah, I realize. I realized when you were like, you're the only person that's actually like watched the full thing and like i could tell by yeah. some some of the shit you're posting i'm like oh wow that that i always appreciate because like putting out these hour-long podcasts like some of these guest ones have gotten like 100 views some of them get like super low 
But it's like I know most of the people are not gonna actually like follow through the, the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Some people don't have the YouTube shit where you can actually turn off your phone. So it makes it even more ass. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. But we do Spotify. We do Spotify. It's there. I pay to go on Spotify, so go put that Type shit in. on while you're at work and shit. You don't oh, yeah, have yeah. to see us. We're just Yeah, that's talking. smooth. Yeah, yeah. You have to pay for it, but it's definitely worth it. I mainly do it for like my brother and my mom and shit cuz they're they're listening to it at work. Oh, and okay. they'll, actually, they'll actually listen to the shit. But that's yeah. Far. But But yeah. yeah, you guys are really you guys have really inspired me for real. Um I think it was the the one with Jacob, the barber yeah. podcast and I was just sitting there and I was like, cause yo, I really see your guys' growth. Like it's create like every video you guys do, you guys are getting better. Like whether it's Alex coming out of his shell more. That's like, I've been telling him. You just get you gotta crack. Open cause this Alex kid is a, a character, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so it's crazy. Like yeah, it's nah. really only up. But you guys have for sure inspired me. I think I've always said it's about <clears> time. <throat> Like, you, the more time you put into things, and people say, that, oh, like, the hours you put in, it really is just, like, it's the so reps. Like, the yeah. earlier you start and the more you do it, the better you're going to get. So that's really what I thought about it. And that's why, like, we'll put up anything as long as it's half decent and it's recorded right. Yeah. As long as we still, like, I'll, I'll cut it down if it's, like, really that bad so it's actually good. But It's all about practice. Yeah. But I agree with you. Alex does need to start coming out of his show a little bit and cracking that joke sometimes it's just a little too quiet mm-hmm. now i gotta like you gotta assert that shit mm-hmm. and shit. talk louder <laughs> <laughs> not nah, but the the jacob one i feel like, like oh it, it was good yeah like i really i really fucked with that one od yeah when we do them by ourselves too it's like those are the easiest pods because it's like, just used yeah, we're the ones that are actually good at the... No offense to the people coming on the podcast, but like it's not like they're going on podcasts. Exactly. Yeah, look, <laughs> look at me. I'm sure I'm going to look like shit back here. No, nah, no. Nah, I, I think it's a funnier part that we put them in the back. Like, we almost make you a little uncomfortable at the start and then just have... Little, yeah. Like, I'm trying to, like, get as close to you guys to feel like... Yeah, yeah. And, like, like Jacob was tall. Victor's <laughs> fat. So, <laughs> so, like, there's some people that, like, it you're almost there, a little like, uncomfortable... But yeah. then we have a, just a normal ass conversation, and you're like, "Oh, never mind." <laughs> that's 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 how I feel like our little twist is to this whole shit. <laughs> nah, why do you just have to send them shreds though? That's crazy. <laughs> it's gonna be a problem if I ever hear Victor's fat, Kobe's a fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> so my yeah. fat friends, yeah. <laughs> two of my fat friends. Like, right. I see what we're doing. Not to be specific, but <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. I think Victor's the one person like I really abuse for being fat because he's not like actually crazy fat. That motherfucker is strong as he's shit. He's solid. Yeah. Yes, uh, yeah, he's and he's like he's a, a solid. Yeah, he's a big ass Samoan dude. Pretty yeah, much. Nah, like, yeah, that's, that's a fact. Me up every Mexican time I see Samoan. him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he said he's gonna get the tats and shit too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's, yeah, nah, I'm pretty yeah, sure he's going all fun. in on that one. That'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, your podcast. We completely, My fault. We completely yeah. got off that sports podcast. I'm not gonna talk too much about it because we are literally gonna do an episode after this. Yeah, right after. But I think I don't know people that anybody else really that likes sports as much as. Those four people I was talking about, mm-hmm. you, Justice, Eli, and then I know John just likes sports just because you guys, but I don't know him like that. But I know he. Nah, like, yeah, Jonathan is definitely a. Yeah. He's a sports fiend. New England for sure. Like he's a. Oh. He's, well, football. New England, the football team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He's a. He's a Pats fan. Yeah. So he's kind of like Justice. Like yeah, if, but if just, there was like a four-way panel with you four, it would almost be like them two versus those two. I'm gonna tell you exactly what it'd be like. It'd be, it'd be Justice saying some stupid shit. Yo. But they're on a team because they're past fans. It'd be me saying some logical shit, but I also be making some optimistic takes. But I'm more logical, I think. <laughs> and then Elijah. <laughs> <laughs> Eli is a uh, It's all good takes But he's just You know what I'm saying Like Bucks fan Then he's a 
Jets oh, fan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Tom Brady leaving the Pats really fucked up that kid. <laughs> yeah, I, f- I felt the same way with the Seahawks, though. Like, my team started falling apart. Every one of my favorite players were leaving, and then my next favorite player was leaving, and then my next... So now, I like, the only person I actually like on the Seahawks is DK Metcalf, and is Tyler Lockett still playing? Hell yeah. He's a yeah. dog. Yeah, I Underrated. That, Damn, how old is he? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Bro, I think he's probably, like, 31. Yeah. Oh, but he... He's like Mike Evans. Like Mike Evans gets a, a lot more credit, but Tyler Lockett is ridiculous. Oh but we'll he's, talk about he's that. He's always been so good. That's um, can we dive into shit like that? Yeah, bro. We we uh, had like fifteen minutes with Jacob talking about. LeBron. I loved it, bro. That, talking about that's, LeBron. That's literally <laughs> one of the session, like the sections in that. That I was like, yo, bro. If I was right next to him, bro, we would have been. Like I'm, I was talking to my phone damn near. That's <laughs> that's kind of kind of how I want the podcast to feel. When like sometimes it's like. You know what I mean? We're top jumping from topic to topic, but it's just what comes up. We talk about it, and then like sometimes when we smoke, I almost wanted to feel like you're in the session, yeah, you're, like, like you're, you're talking with us. But I I think that like that's what we do is just hop different shit, talk about whatever the fuck comes up. So it's not as serious of like a interview. So what's your take on LeBron? <laughs> <laughs> LeBron, bro, I don't understand. This is my whole thing with with people, bro. You're 20 years old, and you're saying Michael Jordan is your GOAT. You have never witnessed a Michael Jordan game live in your life to know the emotions attached to that game. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Now, if you're like, oh, Kobe Bryant's my GOAT, if you're saying, like, I've heard some Russell Westbrook's my GOAT, you know what I'm saying? Because there's there's a difference between my favorite player and the GOAT. Like, a lot of people in our generation mix that up. Like, your favorite player isn't the GOAT. Like, yeah. LeBron's not my favorite player of all time. It's Paul George yeah. slash Ooh. Monte Ellis. Paul George is a fire Monte pick. Ellis was fucking Bro, niggas nasty. don't know, bro. <laughs> bro, niggas don't know. But, <clears throat> so, yeah. I'm a LeBron. LeBron is the GOAT to me. Bro, I've seen three to one is crazy. Like, no one, our generation, <laughs> that, we've witnessed that, bro. That's going to be that talked about insane. first. Mm-hmm. As long as the NBA goes on. That was insane. Like, Speaking from a person that wanted Golden State to win, I never want. That and was that's, fucking insane. <laughs> yo, I hate that team, bro. Like the Warriors, <laughs> I hate them. Like I have beef with them. I'm a KD fan, so that's basketball is the one team where I like I really hop around. Like I'm I'm really a team hopper. Wherever KD's at, I'm like yeah. But I you're want. not as much as a dedicated fan. No. You know what I'm saying like you're really just a player. Like you have a specific favorite player. I'm sure when KD out of the league, guy. you're not gonna have a team, and no. you'll probably just pick a new player that you like. Jokic. <laughs> it makes sense. Right on brand. I thought it might yeah. have been Luca. No, uh, Luca too. Luca too. So just any white boy that can get buckets. Nah, nah. Luca, Luca is who like I try and play like. Like mm. I've I've learned a couple of things from him. Cause yeah. and then Jokic is just really entertaining. Oh yeah, for sure. Which is crazy because he runs probably like a. And also, Katie's black. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I had the feeling you had the weight on. I was like, yeah, something's coming. <laughs> I'm sorry. I get called racist a lot on this podcast. <laughs> Gotta defend myself sometimes. <laughs> but, yeah, the LeBron thing, bro, like, I don't even want to, like, say it. Like, his resume speaks for itself, bro. Yeah. Most nah. point, he's not a scorer, but he's the most... He has the most points of all time, and people love to say the Kareem did it in less games. Kareem also played 20 years, though. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what are we talking about? Kareem was 42 years old playing with a 23-year-old Magic Johnson. Like, you and know Le- what I'm saying? LeBron's up there for most assists, too, no? Bro, he's, I think he's yeah. fourth. That's his Fourth for assists, or even, crazy. I think he might even be lower. I think Russ is fourth. Mm-hmm. So, you saw that Stephen Curry said he's the best point guard, right? Of, with, of all time? Uh, yeah, with Magic Johnson. He said, like, there's no other conversation between me and them. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about that one? Because <laughs> I feel like LeBron's almost like a second coming of Magic Johnson more than anything, no? Yeah. Like, just a better version. For sure. Just a better He's version. He's an evolved Magic. Yeah. Yeah. Fact. I remember some someone saying, like, oh, there's going to be another Steph before there's another Magic Johnson. And I think that's true but there's already another magic johnson that's better yeah you know what i mean so, so like i'm assuming your take is stephen curry's the best one guard of all time yeah hell yeah how bro about you? the reason yeah he he's probably the best he's not my favorite though for sure but like because 
the thing is, like, can I just hold on? There is gonna be another Stephen Curry because he's changed the game so. Heavy. Oh, there's gonna be so many Stephen Currys. I feel like we yes. already kind of have one. Yeah. Like Trey literally is like when he came in, that was he's his like a whole disciple. Comp. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? yeah. He's obviously a lot more. And he's younger, so like yeah. it could happen. It literally could happen right in front of our eyes. But it's that just that says a lot. Is he's literally changed the game in a crazy way, I feel like. Yeah, his um he definitely has the what's the the impact on everyone for sure. Uh and you can't say he built a super team like you can say for those years, but like that nah, motherfucker. They were winning before KD came. Yeah, yeah, and they've been there together. They were all and then drafted they won there. after. So it's like you can't really say some shit. My respect for, for Steph is is there for sure. I don't wanna sound like I don't fuck with Steph, but Maybe, I'm a little biased, as you could tell. I got the Lakers gear on. Yeah, so. no, I can imagine. Magic Johnson and like I never, like I said with my last take, I never seen Magic Johnson and stuff like that. But when you look at the the actual like facts, bro, he came, he came into. I watched some show on, um, I think it was Hulu, and it was about the late the Lake Show, like when Magic came right out of college. Yeah, bro, he won a. NCAA championship and then won an NBA championship. Like nah, his I mean, first that, year. That is pretty insane. The Lakers in in that in that series, like that playoff run, he played all five positions. He started the game at center when Kareem was hurt. Oh shit. <laughs> He's a six foot nine point guard. Like you know what I'm saying? Like Yeah. 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 I I can I can see that, but it's now like, do I think right now I'm not giving Steph the over Magic because Magic's a top five, top six player of all time to me. But Steph is like a top 10, but I feel like he's like a 9. So I think he's still... No, but I think Steph's going to end the greatest of all time. I don't think right now, like if Stephen Curry retires right now, he's better than Magic Johnson. That's that's a fair point. I feel like I, that he but could. I think it's kind of like an easy gamble to say, like, when it's all said and done, Steph will be better because he's obviously going to have more all-stars, maybe another MVP. He's going to get a lot more stats. And, yeah. yeah. I mean, like that three he's, point, still got, he's still got at least two years or three years, something like that. Bro, you know what's crazy? Man. He's what, 34? Yeah. You So, LeBron plays a physical ass game. Like, bro, he's big as shit and he weighs a lot. Yeah. So, his body, you know what I'm saying? If his body could keep up, and I know Steph had injuries before, but, bro, his game is so, like, more, <coughs> like, easy to play longer, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, it's it's oh, like Tom yeah. Brady. Like, I mean, Tom he's, Brady he's played a while. Away because, from people. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he's running away from people. He's shooting. 40 feet away from the hoop. Like LeBron's he's not... jumping into people. <clears throat> exactly. And yeah. pushing in people and playing that. The he's playing smaller role. players. Like, he's not guarding a fucking... Not guarding Anthony Davis. Yeah, yeah. And then Stephen Curry's like... <laughs> <laughs> around the screen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man's getting protected, if anything. For sure. Nah, Magic is a better, like, pure point guard, though. Type shit. What the... Like, what... Like, what the position what point guard says, means, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But, like, that... That being said, like, Rashawn Rondo would be, like, I feel like that man was a fucking pure point. Yeah. Like, one of Chris the, Paul. Chris Paul. I mean, yeah, you'd have to put Chris Paul up there, like, top two. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you're talking about pure point. Also, he's fucking 6'9". Yeah. So, can you call that really pure point? <laughs> you say he fucking played all five positions. <laughs> yeah. Nah, he did. He started the game at center. So, like, yeah, I think the top two point guards are are those two, and I think that's, like, why there's not really a reason for a pure point to really matter. Like, oh, he wasn't, like, a pure point. It's like, like he was a fucking point guard, and he was good. (laughs) He's up there. For sure. Because that boy Chris Paul can't be, you can't put him top three when he's not winning jack shit. Like, yeah, he might make (laughs) the team better. Same with Russell Westbrook. Yeah. I don't put him up there anywhere. Now, that's a question. He's a fucking choke artist. So is Russell Westbrook did he have a better career than Chris Paul? Oh, oh damn. I really like Chris Paul, so I'm going to say no. Because, uh, okay. like, Chris Paul's really... These la- these past couple triple years... Triple-double really MVP. Kind of fucked him over. Yeah, but... I mean, he... Same... Chris, actually, no. Chris Paul's doing a lot better in his older years than Russ is. I will say that. Yeah. It's like hard if, to say because they both don't win, really. Yeah, no, I, I don't like them both for that exact reason. of like Same like I don't like Aaron Rodgers. I always compare Chris Paul and Aaron Rodgers. Mm. You're good. Yeah, you're real good. The fuck are you doing with all that skill? Not doing <laughs> jack shit. 
Like hey, Damon, Rod. Damon Lillard's the only person I won't say that for because he's just trying so hard to win with Portland. With what he got? Which, yeah, I don't know why. He Which is like the last it's, four years he should have been seen. It's yeah, getting to the point where it's as his, as his Robin. Like, come on. Yeah, it's getting to the point where it's not respectable. Like at first yeah. it was like, oh, I respect him for staying loyal and really trying to bring one to Portland. No, now it's just like. Wasn't he a free bro. agent this year? No, he's 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 doing a sit out. He oh. wants to get traded to Miami. I guess he talked to Tatum too, and he told like the reports said that Tatum was like trying to get him to go there, and he said, "Nah, I'm good. I'm trying to still go to Miami." So he's literally gonna hold out just for Miami. And the Portland GM was like, "They're winning a the chip." Yeah. They, yeah. Oh my god. 100%. That would be crazy. But the they're gonna lose some depth though, cause they have to give up the six man of the year Tyler Hero they have to give up you know what I'm saying they're gonna yeah. lose some depth so yeah cause and I they mean, already lost some depth Gabe Vincent is with my Lakers he's a really good deep uh, team playoff uh, team, deep playoff team point guard Um, who else did they fucking lose that shooter that white boy Max Shrews oh uh, the nigga uh, who went off for like 30 for them that one game he like literally won them the game this yeah. year yeah yeah so we'll see all right, and uh, I'm going to actually kind of end this one a little short, but I just wanted to say that whole last, like, 15 minutes is why Kobe's starting a fucking sports podcast. The man was bringing stats, ages, shit. You're not even going to need someone to sit there and look shit up for you. <laughs> <laughs> but I really do. I want to see a lot of episodes with you and the guys because I just want to see how those arguments go. Nah, yeah, it's like, going to be crazy. I'm actually excited for that. And the podcast is going to be coming out on Squaw. So it's going to be its own podcast just on here. It's going to have a show pretty much. So I kind exactly. of want to turn Squaw into like uh, a network. network. Yes, a network. So we have the Squaw cast. We have the Beyond the Whistle. That name is so fire, bro. Are you sure yeah, nobody's see. taking it? On oh God, look it up, buddy. Like, how I want to call my I want to call my cousin to try to get it like a little seed for like... How did you think of that? that? Um... Honestly, I I'm not gonna lie. I was looking at like all the podcast names, like uh, between the lines. You know what I'm saying? That's there's like there's a lot of like different names like that, and I was yeah. just looking up fucking like pictures, like to download, and I seen the ref, and I was like, I looked it up, and then there was there's actually someone who had it, but it's in- inactive. It's not. Yeah, yeah, I mean... You know what I'm saying? He hasn't made anything squaw since like 2020. Squaw is like some random fucking language that I can't understand. And some, <laughs> Makes sense though. Wait, yeah. someone took it? Like someone has the fucking... Some name or some shit. I don't know. Fuck I don't me. give a fuck. Yeah. I don't know if I can own the name Squaw though. Not yet. I'll get it though. The bastards. <laughs> nah, I don't know if... I, I don't know if I've tried... I'm not gonna talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go yeah. buy it from those Ugandans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he getting canceled. For sure. yeah, like once got... you once you guys go up this book market, this exact oh, clip right oh, here. I think I have. They they have plenty of clips besides that. Oh. <laughs> what? Do you have your key? Jesus Christ. I I love how she was like trying not to interrupt. She did a horrible job. But nah yeah. Bro, I'm trying to get my boy um Abdullah on the cast. I'm trying to get Keep going. What you hot? Yes. <laughs> I, bro, I've been nah, hot. Yo, hot. Yeah, yo, yeah, when, yeah, bro, when they, oh my God, he's going to be flaming because, bro, I was sweating, bro. I was like, damn, I feel like I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's part of the reason I was like, oh, let's end a little early. I'm fucking sweating over here. Nah, yeah, I feel you. But, yeah, I'm trying to get a lot of people. But if anyone is interested and want to come on, debate, like even your barber, if he wants to come on. I'm sure he will. Jesus. <laughs> Don't want nobody running down the street with the key. Imagine, <laughs> yo. 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 Alex would hawk them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would but, probably get them before Alex. At this. I mean, if if they run too fast. <laughs> you're gonna, <laughs> be like, oh, shit. <laughs> we actually but, run for a run this morning. Yeah. I, oh, for real? Beat them around Lincoln Woods. Yeah. Little pussy. 
Nah, nah, cause I, I started, I started peeling, and then this kid, I caught up to Kyle, and then. Oh, bro, he was like, he was like literally twenty feet behind me. Like I look back, and he's so far, and then I don't know where I'm. Like I hear, don't let me catch up to you, and, and I was like, that's like fifteen feet back. I'm good. All of a sudden, I hear. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> and then I start hitting the dips, and I fuck it. I couldn't stop. Because, yeah, like, once yeah, your legs get so tired and you pick up pace, your legs actually just can't, like, stop. Really you're speaking fast. gibberish to me. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> it was this big-ass hill, and that was, like, the last stretch of the of Yeah, the whole you ever run, run down a hill? Mm-hmm. It was just this big-ass hill. What the fuck? <laughs> nah, yeah, but... So you lost? Yeah, yeah, yeah I still lost, but I hucked his ass down. Yeah, oh, no, okay. he, he caught up. It, he didn't lose by much. So what is it? The stamina? Like what was it? Yeah, it was the stamina. Yeah. I had a cramp the entire time, like. It. But we, I've been, we've been doing this thing where we fucking. Did you see the the hundred pushups at least yeah. a day? Yeah. So, I was doing it by myself because that shitty ass month. I was like, bro, I gotta do something to turn this around. So I started doing pushups, and then I was like, I'm, I, I need something to compete with. So, like, I can, like, stay determined to do them yeah. and keep actually getting better and not just doing 100 and being yeah. like, all right, that's good. A little friendly competition. To push yeah, it. so then sure. I got Ezra at first, him, Justice wanted to do it, Walter. So, we just started doing that, and I've been pressing them every day to make sure they do their push-ups. They're doing it? Yeah, so far. Actually, I got to make sure they did it today. But uh, me and him are more competing. Yeah. So we can actually do, like, a lot more, but. Quick I'd, question, what time did you go running at? Like, what, like nine. eight, nine? Not yeah. five, nine. In the morning. It was nice out. It was beautiful. Yeah. Because it got really hot throughout the day. It was some, yeah. cr- you know, that crisp to... air type shit. Like, <laughs> it was nice. <laughs> yeah. Felt like you were drinking a cold water or some shit the whole way you were running. Kind of fucked me up. Like, I was talking to my landlord today, and I was like, <clears throat> <clears throat> you know when you get that dry throat after mm-hmm. being outside and shit? Bro, that shit cleared out mad mucus on my shit. Nah, I was feeling good. It sucks, like, being in the city sometimes. Because then when you go to them woods, you're like, oh, wow, this air is air. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's airing right now. That's why I like the beach. <laughs> you sound like the baddest bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to slip that one in there. <laughs> it yeah, felt the so air shit. air is airing. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely some shit out of you. <laughs> Hear that on TikTok tomorrow or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you was not the first person to ever say that for sure. I know. Nah, no way. As soon as the no bitches way. touch down in like a new city or something, vacation, <laughs> they definitely have hit that before. Sure. Yeah, a hundred percent. There's no way some blonde chick wasn't with her girls. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh my god. Well, sure. Been working on my gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I've been working on my game go. a lot. <laughs> I think we gotta go. <laughs> Bro, you hit so many buttons today. Uh, yeah. You definitely hit for the cycle, for sure. <laughs> triple, double, calm, triple, double. Yo, you should have seen Vic. Oh my fucking god, two podcasts ago? Bro, oh god, he was making fun of everyone. He was trying to get us in trouble with every <laughs> single religion, every single type of person. He was going after everyone, bro. In the deepest cuts, too. Like, Nah, what he said? Bro. Like, get only one thing. Bro. He talked about Hitler a lot. Like, <laughs> Wait. Yeah, I don't know Is that how. even legal with, like, the I guidelines? I have no fucking clue. I have no clue. Didn't they ban it was, that it wasn't in there. We fucking... Probably. I mean, probably. We definitely... As they should. Cut out a Can lot. Can I just... Do you watch Schultz? Hell yeah. What's up with... He looks how? like Hitler. Oh, oh, he does. He does. <laughs> Why is he? What is the story one. behind the like I the no know. fade? Just I don't know. I think so he's fast. trying to make it a thing. So as like a barber, you put in a bald line. Yeah. To start a fade, and then he, he just only no has fade. the bald line. Yeah. He doesn't have. Yeah. It's not blended. It's not fade. It's crazy. And also, I mean, the reason I I don't worry about getting canceled is that motherfucker is wild. I don't even know how his shit gets like sponsors and shit. Like I know he's a stand up comedian. They be saying so much fucked up shit. Nah, yeah, and it's they like, say some crazy shit. Yeah, so like, mm. I'm joking too. I, I'm not gonna go up and stand up on a stage. One day I want to. When I'm older, I feel like I'll that do would it. Be fire. Yeah, but like, I'm not gonna go stand up on a stage and go say jokes. I want to make my jokes here, so that I can't do that. Cause I'm on a fucking podcast and so, and I'm not a comedian 
as my job, fuck you. So that's how I feel about it. Like, I'm never saying shit on this podcast where I go home and I'm like, yeah, that was a good bar, Kyle. Yeah, them, them Ugandians are going to get it. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Wait, I'm like, like on, like, the topic of, like, just podcasts, like, I have some questions for you, bro, before we end it. Spit them. What's your, you two, Alex, for sure, but what's your guys' favorite podcast? Like, three. Ex- other than excluding yours. Obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, Damn. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say flagrant. Like, uh, not top, not top, but definitely, like, the three. three. Yeah. I, like, I watch any, I'll watch them talk to anybody. I'll watch them talk to themselves. I watch everything. I watch a lot of podcasts, like, every episode, so this one's really tough. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, honestly, oh, you can go. I fuck with, uh, Dope is Yola. This is valid. You know who that is? No, who's that with? Yeah, it's hard to discover him. He's, he smokes a lot of weed, and, like, he talks about, like, how he used to sell drugs and shit like that. So, it's like, YouTube don't fuck with him. Oh, uh, But he makes his money, him? he has a business and shit, so he's able to what run it. What is he called? Dope is Yola. I'm gonna tap in. So. It, it's fire. That mm-hmm. one's fire. I wouldn't say that's top three, but I'm watching a lot of his shit. He can sit there and talk to a camera by himself. Oh, he's one of he those. Has, he has a lot of stories. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll say my top podcast, like to watch. I'll recommend it to anyone. Is Joe Rogan and Kevin Hart? Both their podcasts are fucking like. You're gonna want to change your life. Yeah. Honestly, that's Rogan what, is the yeah, that should Joe change Rogan my life. I swear to God, that should change my life. Rogan I watched both the... those podcasts back to back. Dog, I swear, that's, like, around the time we started YouTube. That's when I was doing crypto. Like, mm-hmm. I, I swear to God, that shit, like, really motivated me to go crazy. Oh, I really like, fucked uh, Theo Vaughn's podcast. Oh, he was on jo- Joe Rogan's Bro, that show. That was hilarious. Yeah, for sure. He, his podcast is definitely in my top three. For sure. Uh, yeah, I want to him as number one. I feel like Rogan's not even really. Like, he's such a GOAT. Rogan can't. Compete with him. It's like Tom Brady's goat status. Yeah, yeah, my thing about like, like Rogan's definitely number one, but I can't sit there and say like he's my favorite because mm. it's just not. It's not exactly my candidacy mm-hmm. of like how what the. Mm. You said a candidacy. Yeah, <laughs> but I like when you have when he has the people on there that it's like comedy. I like comedy like podcasts. Oh, okay, so you definitely I like fuck to with laugh. Von, uh, Theo Vaughn. Yeah, sure. so like I fuck with Theo Vaughn, Flagrant, like all those comedy things. I've been getting into Reddit story once. I don't know why, bro. It's so fucking interesting to me. The crazy shit that happens to people, bro. They, it's smosh. Literally, it, that, that motherfuckers that be reading Reddit stories and like I'm watching everyone every single week. <laughs> On God. As soon as it comes out like same day I'm watching that shit. Bro, they be talking about the wildest shit, bro. Like, and you're like, wow, this shit happens to people. It makes you feel better about yourself. Mm -hmm. Just like when I was talking about how bad my month was. Like, and you could watch that and be like, whoa, mine wasn't that bad. You hear these Reddit stories and you're like, nothing can happen to me that's like, then that's worse than what just happened to that person. Yeah. And then like, you hear their responses to it and they're all comedians. Like, they're all like actors and funny people. So it's like, that should be like... That's my top three right now. It fluctuates. And then the Full Sun podcast, they're, yeah. they're working, they're working, but their guests have been crazy. Yeah. So, like, just for the, pure guests. The Dylan Dennis one I just tapped into. I can't yo. wait for that, yo. I'm yo, not that motherfucker is crazy, bro. Bro. Do you have Twitter or X? Mm-mm. <laughs> he said, <laughs> you call it X? No. Bro, I, I can't. You no. can't rebrand that late. So, it's that early. But, oh. Uh, it, late and, like late for Twitter, <laughs> late for Twitter, early for him, early for Elon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, you gotta think, own that. That ain't could do him. anything though. A hundred percent. He sure. does what the fuck he wants. Yeah, but bro, this this motherfucker Dylan Dennis is fighting Logan Paul, right? Mm-hmm. Logan Paul is just getting married to this girl, bro. Dylan Dennis has posted like two hundred pictures of this with girl different with different men, like Oof. Leo, like famous men, bro, Leonardo kissing DiCaprio, people, bro. Titanic, bro. Uh, How is Logan Paul crazy. competing with that? N- nude pictures of like from like magazines and stuff because she's yeah. a model. So like, bro, he's just Leonardo's a rich motherfucker, <laughs> like, bro, bro, bro. Like, how are you <laughs> yeah, gotta be some type of like, ain't like? I mean, Logan Paul's rich as fuck. His com- but it, yeah, but he's not Leo. Yeah, he's, nah, you're not. You're nah, not. Nah, no. Like he's not. he's a confident. Like if they stay f- together strong, like I hope they do. God bless them. But 
Bro, that's you're a confident okay. ass nigga. Confident, bro. Cause Cause that's bro, one teenage. of his latest shits. Hold on. Wall Street. <laughs> bro, you feel what I'm saying? Like, bro, come on. One of his latest videos got like 200 million views, bro. It's of this girl literally saying, I need some dick. Oh, that's gonna get clipped. Oh. Fuck. Bro, <laughs> yo. Bro, like, he has like, been working on his That is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Fuck. But, like, literally, like, she was like, like that. No bullshit. She's, yeah, she's like begging for someone to go fuck her, pretty much. Yeah. She, oh, like, or suck dick Something like that I'm not no, saying No no She was literally saying Like I can't repeat What she was saying Cause now I'm already In the deep end But <laughs> Like she was huh? She was saying She wants to get destroyed the And deep, shit what? <laughs> <laughs> Nah Bro was bugging <sighs> Come on bro What bro. the fuck did I do To deserve this But yeah That that whole situation Bro I'm, a, I'm gonna probably do like I'm gonna probably talk about that On my podcast Around that time in November Cause it's, yeah, 100%. You know 100%. Because, bro, that shit's interesting. Mm-hmm. For yeah. sure. The whole Jadeon oh, beef with bro, him, too. Honestly, that made me not like Logan Paul. Bro, on... Because I love... Like, I love his personality personality and shit. And, like, I feel like he... Jadeon wouldn't be a dickhead if it wasn't warranted. Yeah, And it, it is. It is warranted. 100%. It kind of made me, like, question, bro, with George. Do you know the George situation? Oh, my God. Because it's, like... Bro, bro, George is like, and I'm not saying he's innocent. I don't know them from like a nah, hole in the bro, wall, but bro, bro. bro, he's a man of God, bro. Like for him to go start his whole uh, a whole other podcast. But the thing is, I, I feel like he, like he didn't even just just start that because like he was getting pushed, like yeah. almost pushed off impulse. Like I think he he would have been willing to do both, but it was literally just the fact that like. They were com- they were being ass. Bro, did you see the Bobby Lee impulsive? Bro, episode? that shit made me cringe. Bro, bro, the whole time. Yeah, the and whole time. I, bro, that's that's a, another one of my top three. Is that the yeah, bad impulsive? Friend. I love it. no the or, bad, or, the bad friends. Bad oh friends. oh, Andrew, yeah, they're fire actually. Bro, Andrew and Bobby is crazy. But like you were saying, bro, yeah, that shit made me you like not. good picks. So Andrew's who's Andrew? The one with the orange beard? Yeah, yeah, the ginger. <laughs> yeah, he's mad funny. But bro, like, I love Bobby Lee, but like, he's lucky he didn't get like pimp slapped by George. Oh yeah, bro. He was saying, bro. bro Bro, some crazy shit. I would have walked out the first, like, and not even saying some crazy shit. He was touching his thighs and shit, like, yeah. really, like, touching him up and shit. And, and yeah. not only that, the whole podcast, he was s- turned his back completely towards George and just looking at them. He wasn't really yeah, the other two. At all. Mm-hmm. And then he would just turn around, do some weird shit to George, and then yeah. turn back. So it was and like, the- how can you sit there on a podcast? Well, like, you're getting bullied on your own podcast. Yeah. Bro, and the whole thing that they were saying, like, their whole response to that was, bro, to George, they was like, you want to be a comedian, though. This is a part of that, like, field. And it's like, yeah, but even comedians, like, have their buttons. You know what I'm saying, bro? Mm-hmm. Like, and it all comes down to just respect. Like, there's boundaries. Yeah, for, for sure. There, there's got to be boundaries of some sort. Because yeah. that was just, that was crazy. And then, like, for them getting mad at him almost for walking out. Yeah. Like, bro. I would have been walked out. Bro. I mean, just their seating is pretty fucked up. Oh, yeah. Like, Two I know we put you awkwardly in the back seat, but they literally seat the guests right here, the two over here, and then George is just randomly over there. Mm-hmm. So it's then... in, like, no man's land. Yeah, because then, let's say there's two people over here that I'm talking to, and you're just right here. I'm going to be looking at these motherfuckers way more than them. So just put them, like kind of together or some shit yeah you three in a row the guests on the other side or yeah. logan you're the face of the thing you be on you know what i'm saying like you be next to the guest or however it has to be you know what i'm saying yeah i i feel like i would take that one for the team whatever it is i feel like you just you're gonna put the third co-host just randomly sitting like hey i'm not i'm not trying to be a, like a gossip but bro i fuck i fuck with logan trust me od but He's ran through like four different co-hosts for a reason. Yeah, like 100 percent behind cam. And then you seen it. J- Jadeon was live, bro. Like he just sounded like one of them white pricks. Yeah, yeah. He's definitely turning into one of those people of like, damn, like, bro. Yeah, like you're gonna go that way. F- and because I've always been a fan of like, you know what I mean. I grew up on fucking Logan Paul. Like, fucking, I, I was watching this cringy ass fucking. Breaking plates and shit. The little gang and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't no like, yeah, little gang, let me get my fucking merch, dude. Yeah. <laughs> but I was definitely watching them. She was tapped in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then the impulsive. I've watched almost every episode probably. Yeah. They've always had like good guests or whatever. So it's like, 
for you to take that turn and like just be a complete fucking asshole to someone that was just helping your company and shit. Facts. And then the shit like no, he's like the worst brother ever. <laughs> we <laughs> nah, can't ignore, bro. Nah, you that's can't ignore that's it. the topic right there, bro. It's ridiculous. Yeah, you can't ignore that, bro. What he'd be like putting Jake through and like Jake doesn't help it. Yeah, no. But, like yeah. them motherfuckers are like they've been fighting each other forever. Which is brother shit, but I feel like bro, I so to the max. Off off of just so you two. Like let's say you guys are boys, you guys are mad close, right? If Alex has beef with someone, you know what I'm saying? Like real beef. Like, it's gotten personal. That person that said shit about his dukes. Like, all that. You're yeah. you're not going to sit there and be like, all right, Alex, I'm about to go start a podcast with you. That, <laughs> you know, yeah. like, Logan has, like, because to him, he's, bro, I've, you've watched all his podcasts, so, like, you, I feel like you kind of get a tell on someone's, like, wiring that way. Yeah. And, bro, like, just a lot of his, like, personal belief, like, he's so, like, logically thinking. Like, he doesn't, like, he doesn't have, like, a lot of empathy, which kind of taps back into why he even did that shit before in the past. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he yeah, struggles yeah. with having, like, empathy and, like, I feel like taking account for other people's feelings. You know what I'm saying? Bro, the thing is, like, I feel him on that because I'm the same way. Like, I'm, like, very logical and I'm, I'm almost, like, I- I'm thinking about myself a lot more than I think about other people sometimes. Yeah. But I've literally, like, I take that time to really sit there and be like, all right, let me actually, like think about how this might like affect other people and shit like as you should i've learned to do that so like for him to get older and learn to not do that (laughs) even more it's crazy it's like insane yeah it's like yo jake who don't you like i say that make a multi-million dollar company (laughs) (laughs) and also it was like you were beefing with ksi too and i love ksi i'm a bigger ksi fan than logan fan Mm, so like yeah so, for that to all happen, I was, like, I was super for KSI, but I was also, like, poor Jake, man. <laughs> like, what did he do to deserve this? <laughs> the whole fight situation, too. And then all Sniping their shit fights. contradicts. So, Prime Energy and Celsius contradict. Prime, they, he made it. Logan made it. S- Celsius, Jake is sponsored by. Mm. Jake makes a betting brand better. And then... Logan is sponsored by Barstool Sports. <laughs> <laughs> so, nah, yeah, that is, that is facts. So, like, it's literally like, all right, you made a brand? I'm going to go get sponsored by this one. All right, yeah. Instead of just clicking together. Instead of just yeah, being yeah. like, yo, can you sponsor me? Can you sponsor some of the stuff I do? Or like, yo, my, you're my brother. Can I get a percentage? And I put your shit everywhere. I blast it everywhere. All you got to do is ask for, like, 1% of Prime, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you need. Like, 1%, you're set. That's mad, probably more money than Celsius is going to give Jake in the long run. Probably. But it's like... You fuck with Prime? There's a couple flavors. The energy drink's better than the normal drink, but it's really sugary. The popsicle one is ass. Oh, they're all pretty is bad. Is that that really sugary yes, one? Yes, yes. <clears throat> Tastes like corn syrup. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't... be on it. Yeah, it's gross. I can't lie. The normal drink is you pretty gross. the hype? Yeah, 100%. Why people drink it? 100%. I've tried them all. Because I was like, there's got to be one. Which one should I try? The blue one? I feel like the blue one was good. The pink one's pretty good. The pink, pink one's one? good. The blue one's pretty good. The blue one's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> the pink one's good. The pink one's good. All right. And then if you're getting the energy drink, the lemon lime claps. Their energy drinks aren't bad, but the lemon lime one actually tastes good. He tried to spin that shit like he does that for a pre-workout. No way. Bro, he he said that on a on a. Bro, I seen a clip of it. I was like, mm. I like Celsius better. Like, <laughs> I'll drink a Celsius before I'll drink a prime. I don't really drink energy drinks, but like sometimes yeah, I'll be waking either. up at like three thirty, and you almost have to. Like that shit's kind of fucked up. Yeah, you'd be up early, bro. Yeah, but I like I like my caffeine as clean as possible, like a black coffee or something. That shit's nasty you as fuck. You be drinking but black coffee? If I do, if I drink a coffee, it's black. Mm-mm. Just drink like one. Oh, How about on, your women, bro? How about your men? <laughs> <laughs> At least you said woman first. Like, <laughs> but yeah, like a little small one. That shit will have you wired for like eight hours. Yo, you really get wired off caffeine? I don't. Do you I drink feel like that lot? shit's a myth. You drink bro, I'd be at work. We got free coffee. I'd be at work putting the coffee, you know, probably like out of the cup. My So I'm going to teach you my percentages. So if the cup's like this big. 60% of the cup is coffee, mm-hmm. 35% is cream, 
and then five percent sugar. So I like my coffee mad light, like like I'm racist. Mm-hmm. So right. I don't know, bro. I've never like shit. I'm asking you because obviously this nigga saying he co- co- coffee soda that should be giving you energy like that. Not really. Not so. I don't. I don't drink coffee, but soda not really. I bro. I do you drink it a lot though, cause I I'm like a once maybe two times a month. Maybe nah. maybe. <sighs> I guess I've recently started to drink it a lot more because my girl loves, like, coffee. But yeah, even before that, bro, like, I, I don't know. I feel like I just like the taste of it. I don't really get no I feel like it's it. almost like a... Maybe because I don't eat healthy. I like iced coffee. Maybe. Though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not getting that. Uh, yeah, because, like, shit affects my body a lot. And I can feel when it affects my body. Like, if I don't, if I don't get enough sleep because I sleep, like, I'm an eight-hour guy. has to be eight. If I get seven, I'm getting nine tomorrow. Like, I'm really strict with my sleep. Mm. So, like, I've I've narrowed the day down to 16 hours. It's going to be 16 or 17 hours. Like, I know that for a fact. I'll only be up for that. But, like, I eat pretty well. So, like, if I eat bad, if I ate Chinese food right now, my stomach would be growling. I got to go mm. home and take a shit. So, like, that that is true where, like, it might just be because shit affects me so much more. Because I try, like, I'm really focused on that those certain things. So, like, since I sleep so much and I get good sleep, because I feel like a lot of people be like, yo, I could drink three cups of coffee right now. Like, if I drink, drink three cups of coffee, I'm not sleeping tonight. <laughs> like, uh-huh. It's like that, bro. Like, I can feel that I can't sleep at night sometimes if I drink caffeine too late. Damn. <laughs> not me. I could drink <laughs> Uh, whole fucking Baja Blast and Baja Blast is fire though. That's the best soda of all time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hands down. I don't, I don't drink soda too often, but that shit was great. Actually, I, I went to Cumbies today while I was doing my laundry mm-hmm. across the street, and I did the fucking the Powerade Mountain Dew. Shit oh, we used to do. Mm-hmm. That shit was. That's the that shit Eli knows. He knows. Power. You know what we talking about? Mm-hmm. When you go to like a. Fountain drink and you put Powerade and then you put oh, Mountain Dew oh, oh, and yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. it's like Baja Blast it's like yeah. the hood's Baja Blast yeah mm-hmm. that shit was fire and Facts. that's really the only thing I'll drink honestly Baja Blast and fucking water mm, like water yeah yeah I would go over there and just like try all of them like one cup at once it. you was one of them yeah I did that wow before. honestly I'm surprised I've never it's done it grandma. at all wait was you one but of them motherfuckers who my girl talks about this all the time one of them motherfuckers who put like their put food in their milk at lunch just to like oh no no Alright. oh uh, oh like when you're bored at the yeah, end yeah bro just like mm. i couldn't bro like that's probably done it once i can't lie kyle was definitely one of them <laughs> yeah i probably i probably did it kyle, I can't kyle took a sip out that milk. <laughs> nah. kyle's one of I think, them I think, honestly <laughs> i think my boy elias has taken a sip out of one of them <sighs> uh the ketchup like, chocolate yeah, milk nah. yeah. i think mustard i think because i just never really drank the milk like that Cause like I always found it weird that we're drinking milk with like food, with like a sandwich, right? Yeah, like yeah. a burger, chicken patty. Yeah, that's like, so fucked up, bro. Oh. That's Michelle Obama. That yeah, dumbass. Oh, you gotta get your calcium. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Shut up. Give me I a know, fucking water bottle, bro. I know you remember the um the snack thing at our middle school. I don't bro. know if you guys had it, like the cookie stand with the ice cream. Mm-hmm. Yo, you remember? Bro, we used to hit licks. I was gonna. I was just about to say bro, that. Bro, we used to hit licks. Remember? Bro, it, was a, it was a bro, like. Maybe because your middle school, like, was more on it. Was they more on it? Nah, we had, we had, oh. Bro. They had someone standing there, but, like, some people would get away with it, though. Nah, nah. Bro, everyone got away. I feel yeah. like we, we had a curtain over, a, a, like, one of those white tables, mm-hmm. and below it were all the cookies. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, nah, so, see, I was kind of, I was in kind of, like, a case. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, no, it was literally, I remember someone would come back. With like fucking twenty five cookies, bro, and we would <laughs> eat would just be like, <laughs> and then that's when the milk would make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah it would, and that became lunch for a little bit. Yeah, Chicken facts. patty and cookies. Yeah, uh, <laughs> they fucked up doing that. Did we like? Did anyone ever get caught doing that? I never did it. I just always got that the little freebies. slide. Yeah, yeah. Someone would be like, oh, um, nah, I never got caught because I was one of the main like people. Clearly, like I was in there, fucking. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was in there like swimmer every time, bro. Like, and the the I don't know if you remember the weirdest part about it was how it went was the lines went like this. She was at the end, like the girl who would check you out. Mm-hmm. The cookies were in the beginning. That's all we're going for. I'm gonna go to the line, 
Let it pile oh, up a little wow. bit. Grab it even... and turn back around. Wait. Nah, never mind. I didn't want nothing. Whole mm. pocket full of 30 cookies. Now I'm going to the lunch table and we all eating. Yeah, yeah. I was always... Yo! Oh, yeah. I only wanted one. I always just got one. You know, you can't be greedy when you never return the favor. Mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, like, uh, <laughs> you get a cookie. Yeah. Like, yeah. Y'all was lucky, bro. Like, the only time I really ever got, like, a free cookie was if I paid for one. <laughs> and then, like, she would let us reach in and I'll just, like, slip another one with me. Because it was, like, single packages. Type yeah, thing. yeah. You get, like, a... They kept the cookies with her? Two for mm-hmm. one. Oh, damn. Yeah. Like, they had someone standing there damn. the whole time. Bullshit ass school. Yeah. Oh my god. She gotta fucking hit a. Give me all the fucking cookies now. <laughs> stay, Give me qu- stay quiet. Give me that shit. <laughs> that's, a, that's what this kid fucking Victor was doing. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> Victor walked up with his backpack, put them all in. Victor, Victor, Victor stood up the fucking Elote lady. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Victor's gonna see that and be like, yo. Yeah. Nah, Victor. Like, give me that. Victor definitely has heard our jokes enough. <laughs> but, I don't know why. Like we make so many fat jokes that every time we're talking about like food or like <laughs> that's just allude to him. Fat shit, yeah. I mean, bro, he does it to himself. <laughs> nah, I, about... I feel like Victor is one of them like fat niggas who like don't give a fuck. Like he's not like a sub. Oh, con- not like, at you all. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, not nah. at all. Not at all. I mean that motherfucker thinks he's a 10 out of 10 <laughs> he has a lot of confidence in himself as he should i'm pro oh, we yeah. went to mcdonald's with him while we were like doing that drinking video he got fucking five huh he got five, five what? of the burgers five was it a double double cheeseburgers a 20 piece nugget <laughs> and fries i swear to god i swear to god it's the in the video the fries. bodied them shits i think it was a happy meal we got a happy meal so uh. we got a small fry or some shit like that, yeah. That don't matter. <laughs> he was. He also got a Happy Meal with four fries and a little cheeseburger and ate that too. So <laughs> four <laughs> fries. <laughs> no, no, the fries came Wait, from the. Wait, so meal, a ten sorry. piece? Four no, a twenty nuggets. piece. I'm pretty sure you got a twenty piece and four chicken nuggets from the Happy Meal. So twenty. He had twenty four. A small fry and 10, a little thin. I mean, like single how many, burger. How many and burgers? Then five double cheeseburgers. So six burgers, bro. I yes, Vic. I'm not trying to go crazy on you right now, gang. But he approximately took in about like what twenty thousand calories. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that, and I'm not trying to have no friend friendly fire, none of that. But bro, nah, nah. I mean, it's probably realistically at least like five k. But that's like, like three days, right? Five k. That's, that's three days worth of food. Just about three days. Yeah. For, I mean, for him, it would be two. Like yeah. realistically, Vic needs about twenty five hundred. Like. That's probably to start losing weight, to be real. Because he's a bigger guy. Like, you need more calories. And he actually works out. <laughs> hey, bro. Okay? You don't need... <laughs> <laughs> it just sounded... Nah, when you start getting specific about shit, it just sounds like you're frying. You yeah, yeah, it does. It really does. Especially when you don't... Like, if you don't watch back the podcast where you see, like, Vic's, like, double our size. <laughs> bro, that <laughs> just keeps going! <laughs> Cut the fucking episode already, <laughs> goddammit. We're done. I love you, Vic. 